Chicago. It is the nation's third largest city, and it's going to have a new mayor. This is massive. I mean, I, some people not predicting that this was going to happen. But Paul Vallis and Brandon Johnson are going to face each other in a runoff next month since none of the nine candidates got 50 percent of the vote. But the big news was that Lori Lightfoot, the incumbent mayor, conceded late Tuesday, saying it was an honor of a lifetime to hold the office. And Nick is here to talk about Lightfoot and what we can expect in April. And you know, Adrian, Mitch, this is interesting also. Doing a little bit of the research, you know, the last mayor to not win re-election was Jane Byrne, also a woman. So I don't know if there's a little bit of uh, gender bias in there that people just don't give women the same amount of support when they're struggling with their uh, campaign and leadership. Lori Lightfoot made history in Chicago as the city's first black woman and openly gay mayor. But her term had plenty of controversy, ranging from crime and to policing to public fights about the pandemic and education. Now a new candidate will have the opportunity to leave their mark on the city. I will be rooting and praying for our next mayor to deliver uh, for the people of the city for years to come. This morning, a political shakeup for millions living in Chicago. Mayor Lori Lightfoot is the first candidate in nearly 40 years to lose a re-election bid. God bless this incredible city. It's been the honor of a lifetime to be mayor. Once seen as an outsider, Lightfoot's inability to lower crime, public feuds with police and teachers unions, and a slow rebound from the pandemic left many in Chicago wanting change. They'll get that chance with either Paul Vallis or Brandon Johnson in April's runoff. I want to thank the voters of Chicago for making this campaign about the issues and nothing but the issues. We are going to finally retire this tale of two cities and usher in a better, stronger, safer, united city. Paul Vallis is winning voters with a centrist approach, making crime a key issue while pledging support for abortion and gay rights. The former Chicago schools leader has the backing of the Chicago Police Union. Brandon Johnson, a county commissioner, starting his campaign with little name recognition, but has quickly climbed to the top of the polls, gathering support from Chicago's teacher and labor unions, as well as progressives in the city. Now, it is important to point out that Lightfoot will take some wins with her when she leaves office. A new casino is coming to Chicago, and the revenue will help a city pension crisis. Insiders also point out her investments in underserved areas, which will attract to the private sector, as well as her initiatives to take on homelessness and mental health services. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.